What's up, Prize Five fans? You know what time it is. I'm Brian Tong, and we're facing off two operating systems that gave birth to all the smack talk in tech. This is what the Prize Five was made for, baby, with a battle between Microsoft's Windows 7 and Apple's Snow Leopard. Now, I'll be stepping down from judging this fight to make everyone at home happy, and instead, we're bringing on four CNET editors to do the honors. Editor-at-large, Rafe Needleman, Webware's associate editor, Josh Lowenson, and Downloads Associate Editors, Seth Rosenblatt and Jason Parker. Now we'll take all the judges' scores and average them out to the nearest 10th each round. The final prize fight score will be an average of all rounds using the same decimal system. Now when it comes down to these two operating systems, some tech heads treat it like a religion. We've got five rounds to go. First round is interface and design. Windows still looks a lot like Vista, but it's all new taskbar and more flexible window management gets kudos from our crew. You definitely can feel this is the cleanest version of Windows we've seen yet. Snow Leopard brings a super clean OS with a few more eye candy effects. Doc Expose is the new feature that adds productivity, and instant previewing of files in Quick Look is a staple. This was just too close to call, and our judges give both OSs a 4.3. Next round is reliability and stability. Windows 7 has been used by our team in all of its pre-build flavors and the release to manufacturing version. We found that it's been sturdy and reliable. Josh hasn't had a system crash yet, but you know third-party software can change that, and no one has lost their data yet, but it's always a possibility. Snow Leopard is snappier, and you could feel it, but the biggest annoyance is Apple's colorful spinning beach ball, which happens more often than you like it to. There also has been a data loss bug that Apple is addressing. Windows probably needs a little more test time on the road, but our judges give it the edge in this round, 4.3 to 4. After averaging two rounds, Microsoft is smiling big with a tenth of a point lead on Apple. Next round is performance and compatibility. Our CNET Labs did the test, and you can see here how Windows 7 and Snow Leopard both ran natively on a MacBook Pro 2.5 GHz Core 2 Duo. Now we know there really is no true way to compare apples to apples, but you can see the results found Snow Leopard showed better performance in most basic tasks, but Windows 7 excelled in our Cinebench and Call of Duty frames per second tests on the Mac. Our judges do know this isn't necessarily a Windows optimized environment, but they appreciate the improvements in speed and the leaner size of both OS's. Snow Leopard gets a small edge here with a 4, and Windows gets a 3.7. Next round is unique features. Windows gets props for its arrow peak, shake, and snap features, and totally revamped taskbar. Plus, there is a lot more customization with themes, and Seth likes this. I do have to admit that Windows is even a lot more fun to use. Snow Leopard's features improve with Doc Exposé, editing and publishing directly in QuickTime, plus the fact that it's now built for Microsoft Exchange support out of the box. All the judges agreed, giving Snow Leopard the higher score with a 4.7 and Windows 7 a 3.7. So after averaging four rounds, Snow Leopard takes the lead by three tenths of a point, but this one is still too close to call. The final round that decides it all is value. Windows can go as low as 30 bucks for students, but for everyone else, its pricey model continues to be complex with upgrades ranging from $120 to $260. And this is after the bad taste left in Vista user's mouth. Snow Leopard is not a standalone product and requires you to have Leopard. It's more than a service pack, but not really a whole new OS. At 29 bucks for one version, it's worth it for the performance improvements alone. So in the final round, the CNET crew gives Snow Leopard the slight edge 3.7 to 3.3. So let's average out all the rounds, and in a prize fight where Windows 7 jumped on top early, Unique Features was the round that made the difference for Snow Leopard, and it brings home the bacon 4.1 to 3.9 and is your prize fight winner. Windows 7 has made great improvements and is really what Windows Vista should have been, but even with this prize fight outcome, it's the consumers who win with two excellent operating systems. I'm Brian Tong. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time on another prize fight. Whoa!